So I'm not going to speak too much in this video because I've lost my voice. I've been, you probably noticed the last two videos, um, I've sounded a bit off and my voice still hasn't got any better. So I'm not going to talk very much in this video, but I still wanted to get something up. Um, so I'll do this little bit of talking a little bit at the end to explain what we've done for the day. Um, but I know in the last video, someone commented about Nim. Um, I think it was Mark about how much she was going to town on the squeaky chicken. Um, and then I should give her a mention. Well, here she is. Nimmy, come here. Yeah. So this is Nim. Um, she's probably not going to behave on camera. Um, she's my four-year-old Kelpie. Um, she's a beautiful dog. As you can see, she loves um, she loves everything to do with what I do, which is pressure washing, cleaning machines. Um, she's just, yeah, a really good dog. Um, I think I've said it before, a few people worry about her in the pressure washing videos, but trust me, um, I'd never do anything that would ever put her in harm's way. So um, the steam that you see it is a hot wash, but that water, um, you know, 300 mil away from the end of that wand, you can put your hand quite comfortably even when it's up very hot. So anyway, there's the shout out to Nim. Maybe she'll become a, a superstar on YouTube, I don't know. <laughs> um, but she's a gorgeous dog. Let's move this down a bit, you sweetie. And um, yeah, she follows me everywhere. She's like my little shadow. And she? So anyway, there you go, Nimi. Now you're on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it.
anywhere near 100% after being sick from a few weeks ago, but I wanted to get something done, get outside and get a bit of fresh air. Um, as you can see, it's a bit cold in here today, but hey, that's Melbourne. So um, basically what I've done today is um, I've done a silent movie. <laughs> There's not much talking, I can't talk too much, but very basically what I've done is I have uh, stripped all the components out of the engine bay apart from what I need to leave in here um, just for a future reference. I've cleaned it, I've given it a good scrub. Um, so uh, a small step, yes, but it's one that had to happen. And what will happen now is um, I'm gonna give this a hot wash once more uh, just to get the remainder of anything out of it. Um, I'll hit it once more with the cleaner, give it a hot wash, dry it out, um, and then this will be ready for uh, for prep and edge prime because I am going to paint the engine bay of this. I wasn't going to, but then I thought I'm going to go to all this effort. I think that we need the engine bay to look 100% as well. So I'm um, going to paint the engine bay on it. Um, so basically, uh, now that that's done, the next video is going to be bodywork in its full. Um, it might be a slight break between videos because I'm going away next week. I'll see how I go. Um, but I'm going to start with the underside sanding, patching that hole. Um, and then um, getting some color on it and some clear. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a quick one, this one. Uh, lots of um, lots of sped up action and a good music track over the top. So enjoy, hope you guys had a great safe week and I'll see you this time next week. See ya.